so welcome to the same frame. Let's save her. Yeah. What's up, guys and gals? Welcome to another episode of the Zane Frame. We're doing something different today because it's going to be a long episode. It's something different today right? because we're saving a life rather than taking a shitload of them. Okay. I am not trapped behind the nurse. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a nurse. You're a nurse. She's really happy. Oh, yeah. We, yeah, we saved a pregnant woman. Oh, yeah. She's out in the woods in, in labor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lady, that's, that's great. But I also just donated a fuck ton of money to get the. But it's gotta be realistic, Zane. Please use the door over to your right. Cool. I was about to! <laughs> and then! <laughs> the rules! With the government! Hey, Big Brother! Time. Deep Remember, State! Not I can walk again! The nurse told me. <laughs> I'm sorry, can you say that again real quick? That fix my leg. Thank uh, you. That's there's a machine. Hey, this is for you. <laughs> I found it when I was out for a walk. It's called the leg on the fucking machine. Oh, there it is. Okay. See me again. Oh, I don't know what you're asking. Can you say that word one more time? Where are you from? So we visited last time. This uh, pixelated machine and this pixelated machine were not here. But then I made a donation to City Hall, and now this girl is good, and she gave me a part for a new sub weapon. And her leg will be as good as new again. Come back and see me again. Yeah, that's... You can actually still do it. Come back and see me again. Yeah, yeah that is straight up a uh, UK person trying to pull off an American accent. Yay! But yeah, but even like the, the person, the voice director, will be like, Cut! Yeah. <laughs> to, not again. Again. Like a chin. I can't believe that we're doing this again. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Best bitch and singing bitch. What do you think, Bulbasaur? Bulbasaur. <laughs> it's garbage, Bill. Is there any sign? It's garbage! Oh, okay. It's fucking garbage! I wonder what kind of Pokemon it is. It's an Eevee. I wonder what kind of Pokemon it is. It's an Eevee. Wonder Pokemon is... <laughs> Ash, you're okay? You're having a stroke up again? That's just how he sounds in the bridge series. No, I know. It's like, it's, to be fair, it's to be honest. Wow! Ash, are you having a stroke again? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm starting off in a referential mood. Is this all I've fucking given this bitch? This is a museum, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, Artsy. my. Is I, that yeah. a crystal fossil? That's the kind of tone I hear from a girl who looks like that. Those are made oh, when no. a weaver bar totally crystallizes mm. She's working it! They're considered great look, man, the hair, the treasures. voice, the eyes, it the midriff, so much to me if you'd let the me fact that she's that clearly me. smart because she's running Please. a fucking museum. I'm like, just saying, berets are more like a visual warning so sign. Much. Like, if you start talking but, but and she doesn't bust out the, this. obviously you have it, it's like, okay, yeah, you're actually Plus not. Plus, she sounds like that. Fucking insufferable, it's great. Thank you so much. Where I bet there are a lot of people. Oh, look at this. Relics like are you okay? Are classified as I mean, just listen, just true. listen. Are you having a stroke? Oh, I got a grade two so national treasure. Was probably using it to protect itself. Yeah, it kind of was like 30 times a day. <laughs> Some reaper bomb's probably protecting itself with it. Yeah, it didn't work out well for him. so much. I bet there are a lot of people who'll come to see this. See? <laughs> that I sounds... bet there are a lot of people. She sounds like Wanda! That's it? God damn it! Oh, like from Fairly Odd Parents? Yes! Oh, uh, sport. Bring it here and show me. <laughs> I'll evaluate it for you. And oh, Cosmo. Really nice. He started off kind of stupid and ended up like full blown oh, brutally stupid. Yeah. <laughs> God, I actually know a couple like that now. Now I think about it. Oh. Really? Yeah, like, no. The guy's a nice guy. But he's stupid as fuck? Not as fuck, but. <laughs> I got great news. <laughs> now that I have another girlfriend, you know two couples who are like okay. that. <laughs> No, it's, have you ever had that moment where you talk to someone and you use a word 
and the person you're talking to, like, responds, but they don't respond in the way where, basically, their response lets you know it's like, you didn't actually understand what I just said. Kind of. You know, every time you make a real deep... The way you described it kind of lost me, like, halfway through. You know, every time you make a real deep reference and someone, like, laughs and says, oh, yeah, but, like, the tone they use, you're like, oh, yeah, you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, 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 I get you. All right, yeah, there we go. That was perfect. Thank you. You know when you make a reference that, like, two people on the planet would get and neither of them are in front of you? (laughs) That. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes, like, say something. It's like, oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. It's like, oh, man, no, you don't, but that's all right. Well, because that's a common experience for me, but I imagine it's not for most people. Most people quote, like, Friends, or, uh... That show I've never seen. Yeah, or things that aren't, like, The Mandalorian. Well, actually, right now, that's the perfect thing to do. Baby Yoda! Dude, have you watched The Mandalorian? I'm not. Dude. I fucking dude. I fucking gave you a Disney Plus subscription. Dude, I'd fucking do. <laughs> Watch The Mandalorian. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's not a binge. They, the new episode comes out every month, every week. Yeah. Because it's online, but it's like, I think this is just useless. Yeah, it's Disney Plus, but they're deciding to serialize it rather than just, here's the thing. Not gonna lie, I kind of like that better. Yeah, that's fair. Because, like, I was waiting for months. Oh, oh, that's the right place. It's a puppy! I was waiting for months for the new, like, she season to happen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it did... And, and then three you hours it later, it's like, oh, cool. I, I guess I'll just wait another two years. Oh, that happened. <laughs> I mean, that was awesome. I'm glad I saw it. It was great. But... Well, that happened. <laughs> what do you want to do, Bubba Sir? <laughs> Bubba, Bubba Sir. <laughs> yeah. Got this is a Bubba baby with a cute Bubba blit. Now he's a big Bubba Sir. But he's also got a cute Bubba blit. Oh, look. A shield used by a Reaver bot. How rare. Grade 2 National Treasures. I think it's less the, oh man, it's rare to see a shield and more, oh, it's rare to get Most one in Most people who see it die. <laughs> also that. Most people who see one of these things don't have a fucking cannon for a left arm. Most people who see one of these things don't have a face anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Most people who see these things don't have a body anymore. I mean, they do, but it's like, you know, it's, it's there, it's over there, it's over there. That part's right. You still get to do it in this game, but it'd be nice to find something so rare. She's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> right? It's like, hey. What? Uh, what? Like, she's like, knees like, I, I need a minute. I need a minute. She just, like, leaves the museum and go, like, follow her to, like, where she goes out and smoke. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, it's just, just like, all right, so last time I heard about this, it was a fucking legend, all right? And so I, I thought it was fake. I thought it was fake. And then I'm still looking at it, and I still think it's fake, but it's not fake, and I don't know how to handle that. It's like discovering, like, not even like that Santa's real, something like, what, but like, the the Easter Bunny, Tooth Fairy, Santa, they're all fake, but Krampus, oh, that God. dude exists. Like, something that, like, world-shattering. So you've seen the thing where it's like, uh, Tooth Fairies are actually a, uh, more benevolent subspecies of bunny fairies? <laughs> yeah, makes sense. <laughs> I'm the wrong kind of person to bring that stuff up with because I have a really flexible mind when it comes to stuff like that. Well, no, it's fun. It's which is fine, but you're not gonna get the. Well, no, it's that's fine, but it's just a little bit of context. It's like more benevolent subspecies of the bone fairies. Yeah. So um, um, I don't think they're going to wait for your bones. Oh, they're benevolent. The. The tooth fairies are. Uh, there it well, is. I mean, like, um, the fucking, um, Hell- uh, Hellboy 2. Oh, their yeah. version of the tooth fairy. They're, they're bone fairies. Yeah, they're, oh, so they're more, they're closer to a bone fairy than a tooth fairy. Woo, they are. That does not, look, man, like, we all gotta die sometime. And there's a not like that. Yeah, that, uh, shit with fire. Although, I can't confirm this, but then I'm going to say the same thing about hypothermia and falling to your death, is I hear your death... I would, lo- I would love to hear what versions of death you can confirm, actually. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Um, <laughs> I guess it will become near death, or just like how science says, like, science says that this will most definitely happen. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I've heard that, like, oh, yeah, like, when you fall to your death, you're dead before you hit the ground. Like, you're, you're, you fall unconscious before you hit the ground. Like, your body just goes into shock and then you're dead before you. Yeah. Or, like, with hypothermia, it's like, oh, no, you just you feel really warm and then your body just kind of succumbs. You're unconscious before you die. Yep. Um, same thing with the whole burning of the state thing. It's like, oh, no, no, like, by the time it gets hot enough to actually, like, kill you, the, the, the smoke will be hot enough to, lungs. like, collapse your lungs. Yeah. And yeah. All that does. I don't know how I can confirm that shit. Well, no, so... Some uh, really uh, morbid death dummies. <laughs> so a collapsed lung won't kill you instantaneously, but you will die of oxygen deprivation before you will die of being burned to death. That, yeah. So I could, I could do. Oh, shit! Warning. Unlocking the sub-city entrances may cause a breach of security protocols. Do you still want to unlock the sub-cities? Well, maybe it's not cause a breach of security protocols. Then yes. fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Are these the fucking... <laughs> Both not the same fucking thing. Are these the Mega Man Legends Chalice Dungeons? Is that what's happening right now? No, they are very necessary parts of the thing. Oh, okay. It's just that basically, um... Oh, you know what? Indian burial grounds? Oh, imagine, right imagine the Native Americans had access to extra stellar technology and also put systems in place to murder whatever came after them. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. That's what we're dealing with. Why would you do that? Why would we do, well, why would we do it knowing that? Why? Yeah. Because of dramatic irony, my friend. Why? Mega Man and everybody else knows shit about this. Mega Man, Mega Man. The only, Hi, characters, the only characters who know anything about it will appear to the next game. Uh... I thought there wasn't a... Oh, no, wait, there's no... Third yeah, one. yeah, no, yeah. Because Mega Man Legends 2 is actually my favorite of the two. Right. Like, it's, it's fucking amazing. Everything about it. The story, the characters, even the voice acting's better, the sound design, the set design, everything. It's pretty much, like, one of the most perfect PS1 games. Oh, God! Yeah. Bam. I got max attack. And I, I gave up my range, but we're all close quarters combat. So it doesn't even fucking matter. It's, it's too bad. It's, it's too bad. bad. Look at that dog. That dog's bad. That's a bad. That's a bad. Dog. You're not good dog. Your dog's a good dog. This dog's bad. Yes. Your dog does what you say when you say it. And my dog's bad. <laughs> Mega Man? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the comb is open the whole time. It's like, uh, oh, hi, Roll. <laughs> Is, is, it, is this just how you get through dungeons? Look, I don't have anyone else to talk to down Look, here, okay? man, I'm miles below ground, and there's just killer robots everywhere. You cope how you can, all right? Like, you know, as long as I'm not starting to Charles Goddamn Manson, I think you should be fine. Oh, shit, we got the most important broken thing in the game. The blunted drill? Yep. Because remember all the broken, stupid bullshit we gather in these ruins? Oh, yeah. Fucking roll make shit out of, so... So, what, you're now Big Daddy Mega Man? Um, I'm going to be next time I uh, come up on the surface there. Next time on the Z- Oh, no, we're not. No, we're doing the long- Actually, that would be perfect, because we're just almost hit 13 minutes. Hey. But we ain't doing that shit. I'm about to go black up. Listen up to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> read a book, read a book. Man, read a book. fuck spinning <laughs> rims. <laughs> R-E-A-D-A-B-O. Okay. God damn, I fucking love that song. I love it. <laughs> It's that fucking intro. Yeah. Because it's just so, like, it's just You're so... trying to make a song with, like, hooks, hooks and, and concepts, concepts and, and shit. shit. But fuck that! Man, I'm trying I want to go blacker. And it's like, and he does that by being like, Look, man, society's bullshit, but here's what you have to do to sell in life. Yeah. It's like, whoa, that's really cool. <laughs> buy some land, buy some land. Whoa, fuck, fuck spinning, spinning rims. rims. He's got the fucking the general outfit on. Yeah. I can respect that dude. Like, seriously? Not gonna lie, like, that's an inspiring song. It, yeah. Like, really, buy, save up your shit to buy land. Whatever the fuck you want right now, it ain't fucking worth it. Get something stable. Like, not only are they not making any more of it, they're about to be a whole lot less of it. Oh, yeah. The Earth isn't hev any heavier than it was when it started, because uh, anything you take out of the Earth, you just stays on the Earth. Uh, that's not true. Or something like that. What? Uh, no, I mean, there's meteorites and shit, but, like, yeah, but when you also, take something out of the ground, you make it a skyscraper. Like, it's still the same amount of mass. Yeah, it's fine and all, but if we're also subscribing to the idea that the moon used to be part of the Earth, then unless the thing that hit the Earth that caused the moon replaced it... Unconfirmed. Oh, that would be fucking amazing. Wait, hold on. Don't hurt yourself. Evangelion. Yep. 
So some object hit the Earth so hard that it separated part of the Earth to create an orbiting body. Yeah. So wouldn't that object yeah, now yeah, be yeah. part of the Earth? No. Because the moon is moving away from... Oh, you're talking about the thing that hit the Earth. Yes. No, it could have just skipped off. But what if it didn't? Uh, then... Then Evangelion. I don't think Adam was... Adam wasn't that big. No, there are fucking... There's a whole fucking city, the Geofront! That was big as fuck! No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was! It was, oh, no, size of a, it was the size of a large city! Yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I remember now. It's... Well, no, even then, because the thing that we're talking about is like, again, the size of the moon! Yeah, but like, just so... So, so it was big enough to break off a part of that. It doesn't mean it was that big. No, it'd have to be rough. It just the caused, like, maybe just, like, hit, like, the right fracture or something. Some of those tectonic, whatever the fuck you call them. Uh, at that point in time, there were no tectonic plates. Because it was a um, bunch of mol gooey molten shit. Wait a fucking second. So, Pangea developed? I always yes. assume Pangea, like, whatever fucking formed the Earth, Pangea was already there. Like, that no, was the above. No. The above water. No, 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 part. no, 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 no. no. This, like, when whatever it was that, assuming that the theory of thing hit Earth, therefore moon, that happened back when there weren't oceans. It was just a molten hellscape. But it, it didn't happen back in the day, way back in the 1980s. I fucking swear to you. You're not wrong there either. You know what? People shit on the Big Bang Theory, but I will defend the first few seasons and the theme song. Uh, uh, the theme song, the theme, the theme song, but the theme song, <laughs> fucking damn it! But the, the theme song was pretty good. It feels really uh, um, they might be giants esque. It, I'd have it to say. Made by? Oh no, it was made by Bare Naked Ladies. Tonight. Yeah. But, like, it feels like that kind of, like, you know, like, fucking, like, a Dr. Worm or Istanbul, not Constantinople. Yeah. Like, those weird, like, quirky songs that somehow still have some kind of educational content in them. Yeah. So, yeah. basically what you're telling me is that you enjoyed Big Bang Theory before it manifested itself in a nerd's place. Before everybody got a girlfriend. Yep. When it was like, oh, hey, look at these nerdy losers. I was like, okay, fine. I'm a nerdy loser. Let's look at them. I was like, okay, but now this character has a girlfriend, and this character has a girlfriend, and this character has a girlfriend. Well, when you take it two different ways, either they decided to make a nerd wish fulfillment, or they realized that uh, Lonely Loser probably wasn't going to resonate with the majority of the viewing audience. But that's just the thing, is that it was per the first few seasons were perfect with the Lonely Loser uh, niche audience. Sure, but if they're also charging for ad space, then they're going to want to... It, because they it want was to still marketable! We, there's so many nerds! That doesn't matter, because if they market to more people, it's more successful, they can charge more money. Let us continue this when we're not about to walk into a cutscene. You go fucking cut that's, yourself that's scene. That's why I've been sitting there for a while. That's a bun. As a robot. That's a bun. Bun bun. Look at, look at his chest. Hey, bun bun! Bon, bon, I love bon, this. Bon, 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 bon. I wonder what it is. I wonder what it is. Megaman is got, it's got guns everywhere, Megaman. Yes, robot. What the fuck is this? <laughs> After everything. Diesel, you better not be eating that entire pizza yourself. Fuck off, Tron. You don't know me. Remember, we thought these people were dead. Yep. <laughs> That face fucking here. face! I thought I was going to die! Hmm? Yeah, I thought you were going to as well! <laughs> it's like, that's what! That's wonderful! <laughs> oh. Uh. Let, let go of me! Man, that fucking lip sync. What do you think it's you're PS1. doing? PS1. Yeah, I know. Like, we're me. fortunate to get this. What's the hold up, Ron? If you don't hurry up, there's not going to be Seriously, any Seriously, look. Look at the shape of his mouth. Like, you can tell he's eating something. Like, that's yeah. that's pretty fucking advanced for PS1. What yep. are you doing here? Tron! Hurry up. Get on board. It's time to activate Bruno. The baby? No. Uh, that's This robot bomb. is my bomb. masterpiece. Bomb born. Bomb born, You're welcome yeah. to try and stop Who, us. As we've said in previous Please episodes. Stand a chance. May, may or may not, not be a robot, a or a baby, or a cyborg baby, or just a robot, or... I don't know. Maybe on the weirdest version of flirting I've ever seen. 
You're welcome to try and stop our war crime machine. It's the logical uh, extension of the Sundarans. I, um, mm, I can't think of a Sundarans. It's not like I like you or anything. Just to prove it, here, I'm gonna try and kill you, but I hope you're okay. <sighs> that, like, everything about this thing just screams fucking crime against humanity. This is, like... Uh, those are flamethrowers. That is some fucking. They're in the middle of a residential district. No, this is a is war event, crime is an waiting to happen. Is the old town like this used to be all there was, but now nobody lives here. In fact, like if, yeah, what's right next door? Well, yeah. Well, okay, we, yeah, that's what I thought. We gotta make sure they don't get there. Also, look at the fucking chassis on this thing. See, like those two bolts above the fucking long part. It's really hard to fucking point this out because everything's trying to kill me. Two bolts above the see, long like, part. Uh, see, like the, the spine part. Yes. Fuck me! Can you break one of these things, please? So I can get a better fucking There we go. Okay. I like those legs. Yeah, it's one of those. It, this is a really good boss because, like, it legitimately affects the area around you. But I could not have gotten out of that area unless this robot destroyed the first. Yeah, sir. Fucking ass bitches. Isn't there a. I okay, know, see that? See like, the two bolts right there? Right in front of me? Uh. I missed what you were talking about, but I'm saying that. I'm sure it'll make more sense to the- That's okay. cool! Look, right here, in front of us. Jalen looks like eyes. Bolt. Yes. Ow. They, I, I mean, I don't know, they look like eyes. They look like a mouth. It was supposed to be like a fun little thing, and it became a whole other circumstance. I just fucking did it! Alright, yes, that that exists! It's and? I don't know, I thought it looked goofy. Oh, fuck it. What were you talking about? Because it was, like I said, it was supposed to be like a benign thing. It's like fucking, um, Mitch Hedberg. <laughs> it's like, it's like, you know, I'm walking with somebody, I'll mumble something, and then they'll be like, What'd you say? And I was like, but it wasn't really anything I was trying to say. I was like, what'd you say? I was like, hey, don't worry about it. What'd you say? I said, that tree looks far away. <laughs> yeah. like, it was just a fun little thing in the moment, but now it's just become a whole fucking who gives a shit. What were you saying about Dark Souls? Oh, uh, yeah, you're talking about uh, things that destroy environments. And there's uh, an item you can get in Dark Souls 2 if you allow one of the bosses to destroy a dead tree that's got a body in it. So you Oh, kill her? Yeah, it's the, uh, uh, scorpion equivalent. Of, oh, that uh, bitch. Yeah, of, uh, Kilar. Yeah. Kilar? Whatever. Scorpion guy who will only talk to you if you have that weird brain. No, 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 no. His wife. Yeah, she's the boss. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, wackity do. Also, a boss is way easier if he's on your side. Does he give you an item? I don't remember that. I know you can talk to him, but I'm pretty sure I found him after I found her. No, you can um, summon him as a phantom. Uh, oh. Yeah. I I have a policy. Get, oh, don't fucking. Look, man. I'm just saying. Don't separate us in those groups, because you know I've platinumed every single Dark Souls game. I fucking but I know that. I use my fucking phantoms, alright? It was right? an explanation of why I didn't understand what you were talking about, because I don't summon unless I know that I can beat it. I apologize. To be fair, everyone on the internet's like, oh, or whatever, but did you do it with a fucking Playmobil keyboard? Uh, yeah. <laughs> did you do it <laughs> on hard mode with no, no level up? Whatever the fuck. Did, no, no, no. did you do it at level one with a fucking xylophone? Yeah, exa exactly. It fucking exactly. Oh, man. I was like, no. I played the games as they were designed. And because I, did them, I enjoyed them. And I did them 100%. I wanted to have fun. So, I wanted to have fun. I didn't want to fucking punish myself. And like there the, were the vanilla ones, too. What well, was the fucking. Uh, it's like the writer run that I was talking about. The what? what? The writer run? Death? I, I thought I was talking about that. Uh, so in Bloodborne, I was the first time I played Bloodborne. I it oh was, the Rider Squad. Yeah, the uh, uh, I'm probably going to butcher this, but Rider Palash. Because sure. I suppose pronouncing the back of her as um, uh, that. Can't tell if you need to be like, is that Kazoo tight? Or you just tried to deliver it. <laughs> um, no, it's yeah that. So the first time I played Bloodborne, which in my defense, was my first ever Soulsborne game. I got the writer, I was like, oh, it's a gimmick, alright, that's that's fine, I'm just not gonna use that, because I can uh, axe build. I was like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Axe? Well, remember... Bloodborne? 
first ever Soulsborne game I've ever played. Yeah, same for me. But then again, I guess I had you to like guide me. And you also had Neo. Oh, that's true. That's true. But that's not officially Soulsborne. It's not, but it has enough of similar characteristics where you can be like, oh, okay, here's what I want to do with what I'm trying to do. <laughs> my first time playing. Oh, you guys get to watch my first time playing Neo. You're on the same frame. Yep. To the playlist. <laughs> like, for the love of God, <laughs> when you walk onto your enemy. Oh, God, yes. You are white knuckling the chair. You're like, bro, just. Just look at. Why is this killing me? It's like, no walk on the thing, right? <laughs> Oh, man. You were so frustrated. You were just do it. I'm like, eh. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Because I would tell you, it's like, dude, you know, you can just lock on. I don't want to lock on. Why are they kicking my ass? Yeah. Have you tried locking on? I don't want to lock on. To be fair, to be fair, I, because of just the way we played it, I doubt there are a few people on this planet outside the people who made the game who know that first time when you go as I do. Yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> I leveled up, like, 40 fucking levels on the first stage. <laughs> yeah. Good times. Uh, yeah, no, so the reason that I brought it up in the first place is that, you know, play games how you like to have fun, but yeah. the other thing is that when I first played the writer, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, this is a gimmick and whatever, and it was like, later, oh, hey, you know what? I want to see if I can do a full writer run and, you know, just basically kill the number of bosses I need to to get the writer and then kill everything else with the writer. And then I started using it and I was like, oh, now that I've had a better understanding of Soulsborne mechanics and how to build my character correctly, this is fucking busted! This no! Come over here! No, it is busted. Come over here! No, it's real busted. You have to be shot. Oh. I just need them to come over here so I can target the cannons on their shoulders. That's where the missiles are coming from. Well, yeah, we should, we should break those. Yeah, yeah, I got. They've also got that shit. <laughs> this is legit probably the hard, one of the hardest boss fights in the game. Just because they've got so much shit to throw at you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, after the after there's there's no repair after this. Like this city is permanently what we make of it in this fight. Oh. Fuck me. Axe economy still dominates. This is my masterpiece! Ah! <laughs> this is my masterpiece! Oh no! Should it be in my blind spot? Who could have foreseen this? I mean, to be fair, if I didn't have health refills, I already would have killed me, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, also, what strat is this? Walk away from the thing shooting me in my ass. Explain this to me, Tron! How badly do you want this Mega Man dick? God, she knows. Eh. I told you I have a huge fucking crush on my childhood on Trump, right? Yep. Like, if she came to fucking life, like, but yes, Trump. Hey, you Please right. step on my face. <laughs> oh, dear. Whatever, she's fun. And she's definitely that type. That sounds like a personal experience, and I don't want to investigate that right now. You really should. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Whatever, nah. people out there with your lovers, try different situations. I mean, A, and B, don't want to investigate that. Huh? Give me your pizza! Hi. What's up? Okay, blue boy, I must know, what's your name? Me? My name is Mega Man. Mega Man Bulma. Mega Man, is it? You know, I've been in this business a long time, but this is the first time anyone's ever given me this much trouble. Yet, it feels good somehow being beaten by you like this. Almost as though I've met my match. Alright, Mascus. <laughs> yeah. So. Your match. Your equal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. I, I, I'm totally right on par with you. Yes. You started one of the most powerful sky pirates on the planet, uh, and you have nothing to say that. My heart because you kept fucking as the blue sky. Like it destroys your empire that you have had years to build, and you call me your equal? I've almost killed you twice. <laughs> twice. <laughs> At least. It, I would say, if we're being generous. Wait. How are you guys not destitute? That's actually a major plot line in the next game. Okay. <laughs> it's really funny. I'll never see him again. 
Once he finds the treasure, we'll wait for our chance and take it from him. What? You didn't think I was going to just walk away, did you? Baby. Mommy didn't know anything. Oh, of course You're not. Baby. Now that's the teasel I know. You bet it is. Old Teasel never gives up. I'll get that treasure sooner or later, one way or the other. Baby. Meanwhile, Mega Man's ten feet away, like. Guys, I can hear you. I have a passive perception of ten, and I can still hear you. I'm also a whatever the fuck. Like I'm a super futuristic cyborg from the past. Super future fighting robot man. Mega Man. Oh my god, you butchered the fuck out of that. Yeah, out yeah. of an already shitty song. Yeah, fine, fucking whatever. It's super not cut man's ass. Super robot Mega, Mega Man. man. Oh yeah, these are the subsidies. Look at this fuck look at this fucking look at this shit. This guy. Oh fuck! <laughs> you don't want to deal with that. Yeah, whatever. Oh, that's horrifying. But these are actual cities that the fucking well Emperor units. Yeah, the oh, fuck, dude. No, he straight up just said that. Oh uh, I thought you'd remember that from my last playthrough. I was like, proto. I am throw you yeah. It's like, man, man. Why are you so bad at identifying yourself? We just can't read. Oh, like, right. Every time there's something to read, he's like, hey, roll. Uh, this says. Child. Gnerator. <laughs> Mega Man, you really need to start reading the books I gave you. <laughs> What's reading? Is that some sort of ice cream? Mega Man, how are you not dead? <laughs> Sorry, that's the preference. Oh, we still have to watch the fucking. Um... Oh, this fucking reminds me of like some armored core levels. It pretty, yeah, I'd say like this reminds me of, like it's like um Jet Force Gemini shit, yeah. like, but with fewer bug aliens. Just. Mostly not any, yeah. Just like from this like fucking 3262 genera you know, bit generation. Oh. Alien. 64. Yeah. Do, 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 Honestly, the progression do, 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 do. of the uh, console generations is one of the reasons why I still know my multiples of eight. Yeah, yeah. That definitely helps. Mm -hmm. Until all those 128 games never came out. Ooh, I can't wait to play Mario 128. Actually, is Mario Sunshine. No. Why are you doing this? <laughs> why are you doing this? I know why you do it. I know why you do it. I know why you do it. I mean, I'm pretty sure this one is actually more. Uh, Who uh, fucking knows at this point? Well, no, it's not. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Eagle One probably knows. It's not handy. It's a. Uh, Better just talk about resolution rather than bits at this point. With another, well, I understood bits kind of relative to each other at least. Right. Resolution, um, really past 720, I cannot see any kind of difference. Yeah, at all. fair. I mean, but you understand what resolution is, and it's also probably easier to talk about resolution than it is to talk about the number of bits involved. In Actually, I'm not super sure what resolution is other than like a ratio. Pixels I, per inch. Right, but like I don't understand. What 1080, 720, all that is in relation to the pixels. It, it's the number of pixels per inch. But okay, per inch. So it's a ratio. Seven hundred and twenty pixels per inch. Okay. One thousand and eighty pixels Wait, per inch. Wait. So then, how can televisions have a set number of pixels? Because they're physical objects. Which is why resolution has gone up over the years. But. So per inch, okay. But wait, so can new resolutions create more pixels? They have more. They have more individual. Like dis things. They have more. They are. But as material sciences get better, you have the ability to, to put more physical things per inch in an inch. So the image is. is I, I'm really not fucking with you. I, I legitimately don't understand this shit. Sure. Um. So the image would be like, alright, this is best if you have a television that has this many pixels per inch. So it puts out an image that's compatible with that television, or monitor, or whatever. Okay. 
Are there are there seven twenty televisions? Yeah, I mean they're oh, okay. they're old, but yeah, they're there. Huh. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess I imagine. All right, so what's new with the I and the P stuff? Ugh, God, I don't fucking know. There we go. <laughs> someone explained it. Someone explained it to me once, and it's like the way that they. It's either the refresh rate or it's the way that they resolve the pixels huh? that are being displayed. That sounded like a door opening somewhere. I better take a look around. Where's the weird moon? I like the weird moon. There's the weird moon. All right. It looks like a face with like a laser mouth. You know, I'm glad that he's illiterate, but has a really good perception score. Yeah. Uh, low int, high, high, uh, high whiz. Yeah. Yeah. Like, look, see, because he's got that the weird, crazy eye on the left. Yeah. Had the weird, like, uh, hollow eye on the right, and then he's got his mouth is kind of off center, but it's like preparing to shoot a laser. Well, if you look at the uh, comet impact in the lower left, it's like he just got hit, and that's why his mouth is offset. Ooh, yeah, like, oh, that's a woman. Yeah, he just got his fucking bell rung. That's what that was. Dude, you know what? <laughs> This is another reason why I'm glad I played this game with you instead of just doing it a uh, fucking solo adventure. That's cool. It's nice to see. Because I'm just so used to this. Like, I can still, like, recreate all these things in my mind. They're right. Just so engraved. So you don't have that new perspective of, oh, yeah. I have the opposite. I have a completely aware perspective. Mm -hmm. Probably more so than half the people who worked on the game. Got it. Yeah. I better get back to the surface. Well, I mean, like. Got not, it. Not everybody who worked on the game played the whole game. Or knows everything about the whole game. I mean, to be fair, the people who worked on the game probably didn't even see anything beyond a single level. Right. Meanwhile, I've played this game at least in the double digits, all the way through. Yeah. So, I've noticed most things, <laughs> if not all things. So it's nice. It's nice to have that perspective. Well, it's just a fun, Oh, like, look, uh, here's a wild dog. If it wakes up, it's going to try and kill me. Uh... Oh, it's woken up! It's woken up! There we go. Dude, what the fuck? Does it still try to- No, it doesn't. It's all sad now. Okay. Why you do? They try to kill me. You just fucking punted a Doberman for no reason. Alright, fine. I'll let another one kill me. No, as long as it just so tries- So fucking important. Yeah, it's right there. As long as it tries, it you can defend yourself. Come on. Alright, yeah. See? Fine, now you can punt the Doberman. No! I'm gonna run away with this fucker. Alright, fine, do that <laughs> Get too. the fuck out of here! <laughs> How do you know that it's not just trying to kill you because you preemptively punted the other one? Because yeah. when I first played this game, I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> I, and yet the dog still... I didn't punt any dogs, and yet the dog still tried to kill me. Why was there that construction worker there? Eh? Oh, the, back in the old town? Yeah. That's just, like, that's just the NPCs in the old town. Like, oh, we're workers, because no citizens are there. No, like, civilians or anything. So there I are workers to... in old town, but they don't rebuild old town. The power plant is still in old town, but it's become uninhabitable for just normal people. Okay, Chernobyl. I mean, I guess not uninhabitable, but, like, if you had a choice between a nice suburban house and a fucking, like, barracks. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Data. Will you make me whole again? Data, can you teach me how to love? Dude, what? <laughs> Have you ever listened to the uh, the landmark uh, musical piece called Teach Me How to Dougie? That's some old shit, ain't it? Yeah, it's pretty old at this point, yeah. I mean, yeah... But every time Harry's like, teach me how to Dougie. <laughs> Don't you have a thing to give the roll so you can give you some busted shit? Um, I was... I already saved. I don't know. I, I thought I had something to do with uh, data, but I was wrong. No, he charged your batteries and saved the game. I'm doomed. Alright, roll. Look at all the shit I have and make things out of it. Ta-da! Here's your fucking doomsday weapon. Oh, here it is. The blood of drill will use to make the drill arm special weapon. Drill arm, blood drill. You can't use it in combat unless you get right next to your opponent. I don't know. Maybe you can think of another good use for it. It's like, alright. You can just call me Big Daddy. Drilling through things. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Rolf. You're the first fictional person I saw naked. Man, Rule 34 is a hell of a thing. New ground, man. Mm -hmm. It was Roll and Sailor Moon. <laughs> man, fucking... Dragon Ball Z. Never, I've never, I've never actually read any Dragon Ball Z porn before. 
court. No, I'm just saying it was there on Newgrounds. Oh. Like Mega Man. Mega Man had its whole category, like Mega Man on steroids and everything. There's actually another Robot Devil song from Futurama. Oh. The one of the first things I saw on Newgrounds was a Mega Man recreation of that song. And it makes me pretty happy. I don't know. Oh. Just reminiscing. Just reminiscing. Do you know what a golden fiddle sounds like? Garbage! <laughs> Mega Man. It's the guy who has a, <laughs> can a only push people yeah, away. Do you know what it's like to be bored with only the power to push other people away? Oh, God. <laughs> he has a whole song about him. I, there was I mean, a Japanese band that wrote a song about how fucking hard it is to kill him without his weakness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or no, it's about, the real song is really about how hard it is to get through, um, Heat Man stage with the disappearing blocks. Mm. Without the rush item, the jet, that oh, you yeah. get when you defeat Air Man, mm. who in himself is a really hard boss, unless you have his weakness. But the second verse is about beating Wood Man, who is also pretty difficult. Look, man, I won't uh, need to hear any band talking about beating the wood, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so to explore, we need our drill. We need to get our big daddy on. There we go. I love how she, like, weirdly flinches every time. Like, alright, I'll equip this. Ah! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out, it's like, is, is, is she, like, afraid that you're gonna use it on her? Or is she just like, oh god, that scared me. It's like, I, but, what? <laughs> okay. Alright, Mega Man, you're gonna be my weapon. I want the drill! Okay, okay! <laughs> so oh god, don't hit me again! I, whoa! Work. There we go. Infinity! Yep! <laughs> Fucking <laughs> infinite! For, se for 17,000 zenny, I have unlimited drillage. What you're telling me <laughs> is you literally just solved the energy crisis as long as you can hook your drill into a fucking piston. Well, I guess that... I mean, remember, this whole world's based off of an energy crisis. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying, is you just solved it! I guess for a drill. I, uh, but you need enough energy to, like, sustain towns. And if it has infinite energy, then you can just do like, it all fucking day. It's like Fire Festival, but permanent. I... Because, um... Alright, I've watched both documentaries, the Hulu one and the Netflix one for Fire Festival, because I'm fascinated by failure. I've only watched the Internet Historian... That's a, that's a fun one, but it's like the, the short version. Yeah, and yeah. it's just like, it was a fucking, just dumpster fire spawned by a guy who had financial troubles. Just, it was... So it's, you know, the 2008 bubble crash all over again. It was, but they just, they were, there was just so much to it. Like, there was someone that they had, like, actually hired who, like, lived on the islands. Yeah, they told us, like, he was what you like, trying hey, to do is, like, this isn't gonna fucking work. If you got a few thousand people, um, like, where's the poop gonna go? That's, that's a really big question to ask yourself for starting any event. Oh, yeah. Where's the poop gonna go? Well, they didn't care. Their, their whole point was the party. You gotta have the party. Let's go, let's go to the party. Party, party, party. We got pallets of booze, but no one has anywhere to poop. Party, 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 party. And everybody stayed in FEMA tents. It was all a big yeah. scam, kind of, maybe, who knows? Or Probably. just by a guy who was definitely a con man, but I don't know, I don't know if this was a con of his. Or, or he's just fucking dumb. Or both. <laughs> Let's go with both. I like both. And it's just a play-by-play -play with, like, interviews from the people. The Hulu one has, um, Billy McFarlane, I want to say his name is. That's the guy. I... Um... The and guy then, who actually did the thing, though, right? Yeah. He was the organizer? Yeah, who was also like, oh, I can't talk about that. And I was like, dude, just say things. Just please stop sucking. Stop sucking so bad. I started this card, it was like, I had a sheet of steel, and I made a card out of it. And I was like, I should make this. And I was like, oh, he was always so enterprising, he would... Take old crayons and, and melt them down into new crayons and then sell them back to the other students. And I was like, that "That's a scam." Like a scam. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I can't be too harsh because I had a scam situation going on in high school. Kind of. It was just like a bunch of jocks and everybody mm. who like gave no shits about video games anymore. Mm. 
And they were like, yeah, I got some like old Nintendo 64 video games. Like, all right, yeah, bring them in. Let's uh, let's see, whatever. And I just always just critically underpay them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, because they, they, oh, fuck, we're back at the main gate. Okay. Because, oh, fuck! I didn't expect, I, all right, I didn't know this is where we're going to be. Hold on, I got a thing. I got a thing. I got a thing. Oh, shit. You know, minute we're hitting up on. 30? 45, man. Fuck, shit. Sure. Yeah, that was our first 45 minute in the same frame. So let's oh. see. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully oh, good. And, um, we'll maybe finish the game? There's not a whole lot left. There's the right. two more of those city things, and then the final boss fight. So, I mean, if each of those takes 15 minutes, then yeah. Yeah, so we'll see what happens next time on the Zane Frame. Catastrophic failure. Oh,